I am Dr. S. Vasuki in the Department of English UAP. Now I am going to take a poem on Wordsworth Daffodils. Daffodils, it, uh, Wordsworth is a great nature poet. He was born on April 1770 uh, he, uh, in uh, Cockermouth. His father is a lawyer and his parents had died before the age of 15. And he was educated in Harshad School. As a young man, he developed um, uh, love for nature. He belongs to the period of romantic age. It, uh, it is in the century of 18th century. Uh, his contemporary writers are Samuel Coleridge, Samuel Taylor, she Keats, Shelley, Byron, etc. He has a passion of writing the poems on love, life and nature. His one of the quotes about the poem is, it's a spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings recollected in tranquility. Now we can go to the poem Daffodils. I wandered lonely as a cloud. Here Wordsworth want to say that he's wandering all along like, uh, in loneliness as a cloud that floats on high over vales and hills. The cloud is floating on the vales and the hills. Likewise, Wordsworth is also fly, floating. When all at once I saw a crowd, while he's going on the lake, he saw a crowd of daffodils which, which is nearby the lake. A host of golden daffodils. He want to say the daffodils, it is golden in color, uh, which means yellow. Besides the lake, beneath the trees, the, the daffodils is beside the trees and beneath the lakes. It's crowded by the lake and also the trees. Fluttering and dancing at the breeze. The daffodils in a group, it is fluttering and dancing in the breeze. And in continuous are the stars that shine. Among the stars, it's shining like a glittering golden uh, thing. And twinkle on the Milky Way. It is twinkling like the stars as uh, daffodils also twinkling. They stretch its never ending line. So he's seeing the daffodils which is stretching in a never ending line that he can't count uh, to what extent it is going. Along the margin of a bay, there is no margin for the bay. 10,000 saw at a glance. He's saying that he, at a glance he saw 10,000. It means a group of flowers which he see. Tossing their heads the sprightly dance. They are da at the breeze they are to tossing and it is dancing like a uh, something waves beside then dance but they the waves means the daffodils is uh, moving like a wave and it is like a dance and how did the sparkling waves in glee while seeing the waves it's like a sparkling light a poet could not be a gay in such a jargon company why how ca how a poet cannot be gay because on seeing these daffodils he is becoming a happy his ha mind is full of happiness I gazed and gazed by little thought. He is always thinking about the daffodils wherever he go. What wealth the show to me had brought. Other than the daffodils, nothing is there to, uh, to be a wealth. For off when my coach I lie. Whenever he go and lie down, he, uh, the only the daffodils is coming in his eyes. In vacant or in my pensive mood. Whenever he is in vac vacant or in pensive mood means happy mood. They flash upon the inward eye. The uh, picture of the daffodils is coming inside the eyes. Inward eyes means inside the eyes, which is the bliss of solitude. So whenever he feels uh, uh, isolated, he is happy with the daffodils. And then my heart with pleasure fills. So at the time of seeing the picture of the daffodils, he's, uh, he's having a pleasure and dances with the daffodils. So whenever the picture comes in the uh, mind, he is feeling like he is dancing. Thank you.